Uh, Claudia, your cap is looking a little big. Huh. You think? We're making hats for babies, not giants. Wow, I think it's perfect. Babies with big heads need caps, too. True. Ready for this? Miss Johnson knitted 11 caps, and Mrs. Bingham knitted 8. That's a lot, Ted. Well, it would have been a lot. But my mom called and said I left 15 caps on the kitchen table. Never put them in this box. It's okay. Just bring them by later. So, how many wool caps did you bring? Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of complicated. It's just a word problem, Ted. And you're just the number scout to solve it. I am. Wait, I am? First, we have to read and understand the word problem. Ted, that's me, got 11 wool caps from Miss Johnson. Mrs. Bingham gave him eight more wool caps. If Ted left 15 wool caps at home, how many caps does Ted have now? That's the number we're looking for. How many caps does Ted have now? To start figuring it out, let's go back to the beginning of the word problem. How many wool caps did you start with? 11 from Miss Johnson. Right, you started with 11 wool caps. But then two different things happened. First, you got some more wool caps from Mrs. Bingham. And second, you left some of them home. That means this word problem has two steps. What strategy should we use to solve this? Draw a picture, write a number sentence, or use a number line. Got you covered, Ted. I'm pretty good at drawing caps. Great. So you started with 11 wool caps. Wow, those really are good wool caps. Mm-hmm. Wool is my specialty. Step one, you got eight more caps from Mrs. Bingham. More means... Addition! So, I got 19 wool caps in all. Okay, that's the first step. But we still have to do step two. How many did you forget to bring? Fifteen. So, step two. You need to take away 15 wool caps. Take away means... Subtraction! I only brought four? <laughs> four wool caps are better than nothing. <laughs> no wonder the box was so light. <laughs> I'll go get the others. See you in a few. Hey, guys. Check out all the hats my family made. <gasps> Whoa. How many are there? Well, my grandma knitted nine caps, but my sister started playing dress up with them and took six. Then I got ten more from my Auntie Sheila. Hmm. Sounds like another two step word problem. First, we have to read and understand it. Joni's grandma knitted nine caps. Joni's baby sister took six. Then her aunt knitted ten more. How many knit caps does Joni have now? That's the number we're looking for. How many knit caps does Joni have now? What strategy should we use? Picture, number sentence, or number line? Let's go with a number sentence. Ahem. Uh -huh. Have you seen my pictures of wool caps? Nice! But I'm partial to number sentences. <sighs> Okie doke. Okay, I started with nine knit caps for my grandma. Grandma has mad knitting skills. Step one. My sister took six. So that's subtraction. So that means I had three knit caps. But then my aunt gave me ten more. More means addition. So for the second step, add ten. That means I brought 13 knit caps with me right now. That's awesome, Joni. Please thank your grandma and auntie for me. Hey, Ramos. What you got there? Since no one in my family can knit, my grandfather gave me this. I think it's an old magician's hat. Really? Huh. What makes you think it's a magician's hat? <laughs> <laughs>